And today I went down to the gym and my trainer came in and I looked at his ass and just turned around and walked the out. <laughs> I am man, man today. <laughs>《I'm busy, how do I balance the personal life and the work? I mean, look, it's a... You have to really, to be honest with you, you have to have a really understanding and cooperative wife because I'm gone a lot. But Marjorie understands the balance. I work to create a lifestyle for my family. And it's not just my wife, it's for my children, it's for my grandchildren. I make some really great things happen for them, but I can't be home and accomplish it. Marjorie's understanding of that. Now, she'll go, okay, you're not doing any more, like I'm gonna do a new show this this year. We're coming back here. I created a judge show that we're gonna do out here this year too. And then she told me, she said, that's it. Don't, Don't create nothing else. You know, she stunned me, though. She said, we have enough. I went, really? (laughs) But, you know, that's... You just have to work it out with her. She asked me this year, she said, could you set your schedule up where you don't work weekends? Because I used to work six days a week, seven, just to get all the shows in. Then we'd go on vacation. She said, no. She said, you're going to kill yourself, take weekends off, and all holidays. I worked Easter three, three years in a row. She said, why? She said, you just started a show, you could say no. And so she made me take off holidays, weekends, and so we can do some stuff. So you just gotta cooperate with her and understand what they are doing and that's, it's hard, but like, you know, I got a four hour radio show every day and then I'm here. I'm on in 112 cities. I talk to 9.5 million people every morning, and then I come here. When I get off here, I'm (laughs) fried. Because I talk and entertain all day. From six to 10, I'm talking and entertaining. And then I come here, and then we start around 12, 12 12.30 to eight, and then I'm talking the entire time. And so it's a hard job. And then when I get home, Marjorie doesn't talk to me when I get home. She says, hey, just go do you. She gives me some time to myself. I take a shower, I eat dinner, I cut TV on and I sit there and I just, I become a vegetable. I only last about an hour, maybe. And then that's it. And then I gotta wake up and do it again. Then I go to the gym before I do the radio show, five days a week. And today I went down to the gym and my trainer came in and I looked at his ass and just turned around and walked I am man, man today. Because yesterday's workout me up so bad. I said, no, nah, you're not doing that to me today. He has this exercise, these deficit push-ups, right? And he takes these really heavy dumbbells like the 60s, just sets them up on the end. He spreads them out, and you get in a push-up position with your hands on top of them, and then you lower your chest beneath the weight, deficit push-ups, and three sets of 20s. Now, this is after I done worked out all day. You know, I've done a full workout, and then you, that's your burnout load. I'm doing 60 push-ups. I told him, hey, dog, I'm 64 years old. He said, yeah, um, okay. <laughs> but he played for the New England Patriots. So I work out with my 24-year-old son, my 32-year-old trainer, and my 36-year-old security guard. That's who I work out with. And I'm in there trying to do what the f*** they do. (laughs) Because I'm mentally imbalanced. And I don't... And you know what's crazy, man? Because I don't want to think I'm...